Alternative Education for Disruptive Youth Programs, Sending LEA Training. Patton's Mission. The mission of the Pennsylvania Training and Technical Assistance Network, PATTEN, is to support the efforts and initiatives of the Bureau of Special Education and to build the capacity of local educational agencies to serve students who receive special education services. PDE's Commitment to Least Restrictive Environment, LRE. Our goal for each child is to ensure Individualized Education Program, IEP, teams, Begin with the general education setting with the use of supplementary aids and services before considering a more restrictive environment. Agenda. Here are the topics we will cover in this session. What is AEDY? The Department of Justice Settlement Agreement. Five areas of focus for program development and oversight. And the review of the responsibility of the sending LEA. An AEDY program refers to an individual program site approved by PDE to provide a temporary placement for students who meet the definition of a disruptive student under 24 PS 19-1901 C5. A disruptive student is a student who possesses a clear threat to the safety and welfare of students or the staff who creates an unsafe school environment or whose behavior materially interferes with the learning of other students or disrupts the overall educational process. Who may operate AEDY programs? AEDY programs may be operated by a private alternative education institution, a private provider, an LEA, an area vocational technical school, a combination of LEAs, an intermediate unit, or qualifying charter school. The settlement agreement required general oversight in the following areas. Placement in AEDY programs, ensuring non-discriminatory practices for AEDY referrals and placements, equal educational opportunity, and the timely exit of students in these placements. The complaint process, there was a local and PDE complaint process, and it was offered with translation services as well as accessibility for all. The data collection analysis and reporting through application from the program and sending LEA, cyclical monitoring, site visits, action plans related to training and technical assistance, reporting to the US Department of Justice on a regular basis. English Learner Services and AEDY programs offered equal educational opportunities. Qualifications, training, and professional development focused on providing an ESL certified teacher at each program and the consistent development of training plans to address each area of the settlement agreement. Parent, student, and community engagement via input and parent and student trainings that were accessible. The five areas of focus, applications, student referrals to AEDY, the monitoring of programs, a complaint process, and the reporting of AEDY programs. Applications. There are two types of applications, a sending LEA application and a program application. Eligible public school entities that wish to contract with an approved private provider or place students in an LEA's approved AEDY program must submit an application to PDE prior to placing students at the approved AEDY program. This includes both private providers and in-house providers. All sending LEAs who send students to AEDY programs must have an approved application prior to sending students. Applications must be submitted once every two years and are reviewed in the odd year. The components of the application include contact information, complaint form and process, an EL plan, and the ESL teacher certification information. Finally, assurance statements are required. Applications for AEDY programs. All AEDY programs, both private 
and in-house programs must independently receive prior PDE approval to operate. Private providers renew their application every three years based on the previous date of approval. In-house programs renew their applications every two years on the odd year. The program requirements. As mentioned, applications are submitted every two years for in-house providers and every three years for programs that are private. We ensure the requirements of Chapter 4 related to curriculum and that students are offered 990 hours of schooling. Within five days of placement, programs have to complete a behavior assessment and draft an initial formal periodic review that includes individualized measurable goals. Programs are required to establish an MTSS framework for positive behavior support and provide annual action plans as teams to continue to build that capacity. Effectively monitor the progress of students using tools that allow stakeholders to make informed decisions on transition or exit back to general education. Provide 2.5 hours of counseling weekly for each student in either a group or individual setting, using evidence-based curriculum aligned to student needs. Provide specified services to students with disabilities and English learners. Establish policies, procedures, and practices that align to the BEC and the AEDY guidelines. On the screen, you see the six criteria for placement in an AEDY program. Criteria one and criteria six, we expect to see a list of interventions or strategies the LEA has employed to support the student prior to placement in an AEDY setting. When is AEDY appropriate? It is appropriate for the following circumstances. The student has threatening acts towards other students or staff. They bring a weapon to school they're in possession of or using drugs while in school, their violations of the school codes of conduct are consistent and on a regular basis, interventions by administrators, counselors, and SAP have been ineffective. AEDY is not an appropriate placement for truancy violations inclusive of cutting class and late arrivals, students who are failing their classes, or a singular incident that does not rise to disruptive behavior to a marked degree. The online AEDY referral intake documentation must be utilized by an LEA when placing a student in an AEDY program. The AEDY program, public or private, must ensure that all information is present prior to accepting a student. All procedures must be implemented and all information must be documented and available for review during any monitoring or audit proceeding. It has been created to ensure that all required procedures have been implemented prior to the referral and acceptance of a student in an AEDY program. LEAs are responsible to enter student referrals to the AEDY online portal in Leader Services. LEAs enter information required, including interventions, counseling, and SAP referrals. Students with IEPs 504s and who are thought to be must have a manifestation determination review. In the monitoring cycle, other required documents are necessary to be uploaded, but only in the monitoring cycle. Check with your chairperson when a monitoring is occurring. The referrals provide a basis for data collection and reporting. Let's review the responsibility of the LEA. Consider your knowledge of the following related to AEDY program. Is programming available for English learners? What is the delivery of support and services for students with an IEP or 504 plan? Are you reporting progress for students with an IEP? Are 2.5 hours of counseling services provided weekly? Does academic instruction meet the requirements of Chapter 4? 
Do behavior supports and interventions align to student need? Are you participating in the formal periodic reviews occurring minimally every 45 days, even if the student was expelled? Are you considering that AEDY is a temporary placement? Student placement in an AEDY program is determined by their progress toward their individualized behavioral goal related to the reason for placement. At the 45-day formal periodic review, the team will need to review the data collected around the behavioral goal. If the student has met their goal, the exit and transition begins, with the exception of a student who is expelled. If the student has not met their goal, the student may remain in placement with a presumptive exit date of another 45 days. The team may consider adjusting the student's goal or goals, if appropriate, based on the gathered data. Exit transition plans are individualized to the student's success within the AEDY program. We recommend that teams discuss and plan the needs to be focused around the interventions and strategies that were successful in the temporary placement. The team needs to consider how these supports may be replicated in the general education setting so the student continues to have the opportunity to implement the strategies they have learned. Reporting of AEDY programming. Data collection from the field is ongoing throughout the school year, sometimes in the form of roster checks. Participation occurs at the LEA and AEDY monitoring level. Data is collected and reported to PDE via the end of year report. We hope you found this training very helpful. Should you have further questions, feel free to contact a member of our team at either of these email addresses. We look forward to the future collaboration from Sending LEAs.